Hi, this is Bruce Himmelblow. We're here at NAB 2014 with Jim Tierney from Digital Energy. We're going to talk about one of your products called Beauty Box. I cannot do a project or finish a project without this plugin. Tell me a little bit more about it and what it can do. Well, Beautybox is designed to do automatic skin retouching on video. So the way, the way it works is we analyze your footage, figure out what the skin tones are, and then build a mask just based on those skin, skin tones. Um, and really what happens is on the first frame, you, know, you allow us to analyze the footage, we figure out what the skin tones are, you dial in how much smoothing you want, you know, what you want the look to be, and then as long as your lighting is consistent, the skin tones are going to remain the same, and we can track those skin tone values throughout the entire video clip creating a moving mask, basically, that isolates just the skin areas and keeps stuff like eyes and eyelashes and hair, all that remains nice and sharp, it's just the skin that gets smoothed out. So will this work in both a sit-down interview as well as a, a acting scene? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. So regardless of whether it's just you know, a couple talking heads or whether it's an, you know, an actor moving in the scene, out of the scene, whatever. What if you have like two or three people in the same scene? You can track it that way, or is there any manual um, alterations? Yeah, you know, there are manual alterations. It really depends on you know how close the skin tones are. If they're really close, then we should be able to analyze it and figure it out. If they're different, then there are manual ways to sort of expand the skin tone range, and that's usually what, what you have to do. But, but again, it's like all you have to do is set it up on the first frame, and then once you sort of dial in, you know, make sure that it's tracking the right skin tones, uh, get the look that you want. You know, once you've done that on the first frame, you're pretty much good to go for the rest of the video clip. And what kind of processing power do I need? It works on any system? Lots and lots and lots. <laughs> but we are GPU accelerated, so you know, it's like the faster the video card that you have, the better. Um, and you know, we usually, you know, the, the faster the machine you have, the better off you're going to be. But you know, we sped it up quite a bit, you know, in the, in the last couple versions. So really the rendering isn't too bad, but you know, the faster the video card you have, uh, the better off. And one of the other things we recommend is if you have After Effects, uh, use it within After Effects, just because the way After Effects is set up, it uses multiprocessors really, really well, especially for effects work. Final Cut also, and Premiere also use multiprocessing well, but they use it in a little bit different way, and since they, since they aren't really effects-based, programs are more for editing, obviously, whereas After Effects is a little bit more compositing-based. They're not as efficient for effects work, so it's usually quite a bit faster in After Effects just because of the way it, it handles multiprocessing. Render it out and then bring that into your editor and then just do the cuts from there, and then you don't have to worry about the rendering at all. Thank you very much.